Welcome back. This is a quick video to explain a little bit of how to make the most, how to learn quicker using these videos. So in this entire series, the equipment we're going to be using or the app we'll be using to create our website is Notepad. So this Notepad right here, every Windows system comes with Notepad. So there's no excuse uh, that you don't have the software that's required. This is all you need. And also you need a browser like Mozilla Firefox or some other browser of some kind so that you can see what you're actually creating. Okay. So if you have a uh, notepad and you have a browser, you are good to go. Now I have this other uh, text editor here called Sublime Text. Now this is exactly like notepad only that it's got a little bit of advanced features. So you can either use this or you can use uh, notepad. I'll explain in the next video how to get Sublime Text if you want that, so don't worry about it. Now, the second thing is that, first of all, I want you to watch every video that comes up, watch it to the end, just to see what's involved in the video, and then when it gets to the end, watch it again. But this time, I want you to open your text editor, either Notepad or Sublime Text, and type along as I am teaching, you're also typing along because that helps your muscle memory. Uh, it also helps your brain to keep the information for much longer. And then if you're just watching without typing, it's going to look like it's a lot of work that you're watching. But when you actually type it and you see the result in your browser, it's going to encourage you to do more. So, and as I am typing this uh, code in here, if you don't understand any part, for example, this area here, you don't understand any of this. Let's say, for example, what this background color does. You can simply copy the text there and open up your web browser and just paste that into Google. And it's going to give you the information on that item so that in case I didn't explain better, you can get the information here. All right. So it explains what this is doing here and what it is used for. So if you follow these steps, uh, you watch the video twice and you type along with me and then where you have a real problem, you Google it, you're going to learn rather quickly and you realize that this is actually not difficult stuff. It's very easy. And also finally, you have the option to leave a comment in every video and I'll obviously get back to every single comment. If you have a problem, just leave a comment there and I'll give you alternatives and I'll give you uh, other ways of achieving the same thing. Or if you don't understand, I'll explain a little bit better. So I hope to see you in the next video where we actually begin learning uh, web design.